Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Irene Jahenda. For today, we are going to talk about actually why pregnant women uh, frequently pee and why they have to go to the washroom as many times as possible. So yeah, welcome and um, let's have this discussion. So uh, among pregnant women, I think uh, this is something you've experienced. Or if you're yet to be pregnant, anticipating to be pregnant, this is something that you probably experience because um, during the first trimester, the first three months of pregnancy and the last trimester, the last three months, uh, this is a common thing that happens. So in the first trimester, you get to see... Um, you get to if you're a first time mom you get shocked because the number of times you after you actually have to go to the washroom increases and it's usually beyond your control like you're trying to hold it to hold that short call but it's not possible it's not happening you have to go so this happens as a result of um, let's talk about two reasons yeah, there's actually two reasons to explain why this is happening to your body. So, number one. Number one reason why this is happening is actually because um, once your body gets to know that uh, there's uh, another being growing inside you, your brain sends signals to the kidney and tells it, kidney, you know what? You have to, you have to, you have to uh, increase the, the urine that is being uh, removed from the body because one of the functions of the kidney is actually excretion. So once there's a human being growing inside you, it means the waste will increase. The waste will increase because the, the being is totally dependent on your body. So the kidney will be sent to signals to increase the urine uh, because for the purpose of excretion, the waste is going to be more, so you'll be removing more waste. So this is why the kidney will tend to remove more urine. And so the number of times you have to visit the, the washroom, the, the, the toilet is going to increase so much and you'll have to make so many visits to the washroom. Number two, uh, this is because of the fact that, um, and this is now experienced uh, during the, th the third trimester especially, because the uterus is growing in size, day by day, week by week, uh, the uterus is growing. So it will tend to sit on the bladder. And once the uterus is now sitting on the bladder because of the nature of growth uh, going on, the, the, the quantity that the bladder can take actually reduces. If the bladder was taking two liters, this is going to massively reduce to probably 1.5. So the number of times you're going to visit that toilet is pretty much going to increase. So yeah, these are the two reasons why um, for a pregnant uh, mom, you're going to visit the toilet very frequently. So don't find it shocking. Uh, there's nothing wrong with your body. Your body is actually very okay and healthy. And that is why this is happening to you. So once you start experiencing this kind of uh, a situation, what do you do? Because uh, I can imagine for a first time mom, what was experiencing to me, I could gush out and run out. Eh? And you like... What is wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you, sweetie. It's uh, <laughs> what you need to do at this particular point is actually just walk to the toilet. It can be fast paced and taking in deep breaths so that um, your body is learning uh, to adapt to this kind of a situation. So don't just run and gush out to the washroom because this kind of a mechanism can go totally wrong with you and. Uh, yeah, just as a way of controlling it, just taking deep breaths as you're trying to control this kind of a situation. Number two, what you can do is actually practicing the Kegel exercises because the Kegel exercises will tend to strengthen your pelvic floor more and uh, you'll be able to hold it till you get to the washroom. So yeah, you can do this for... Uh, 
stay at home moms for working moms this can come in very very helpful i can imagine the the trouble that working moms can go through let's say you're attending a meeting for two hours and you're here the number of times you have to visit visit that washroom is just way too much uh don't be hard on yourself yeah this is just very normal and very okay and it means your body is operating maximum maximally yeah so also be armed with a pad no panty liner yes have a panty liner so that uh in case because some mothers uh note that once they sneeze once they cough uh, you can experience some leakage so that um yeah things don't go wrong just uh yeah have your panty liner so that you keep thing keep things in control and in check and remember to be to be good be be kind to yourself your body is actually doing the most at this time so it's very normal very okay just handle the situation in the best way possible so yeah all the best to new moms expectant moms everything's going to be good be healthy stay healthy bye bye till next time